Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing a straight line and this is a lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching part 7. And these lectures we are discussing some problems to understand the different form of straight lines. And let us start to solve a few questions regarding this and from exercise, next exercise that is exercise 10.2 and uh, we are going to solve some questions related to this so from exercise 10.2 exercise 10.2 we are solving here some questions and question number 16 so uh, starting from 16 because already 1 to 15 has been discussed in the previous lecture so question number 16 is there the length l the length l in centimeter in centimeter centimeter of a copper rod of a copper rod copper rod is a linear is a linear function of its of its Celsius temperature Celsius Celsius temperature temperature C in an experiment in an experiment experiment if L is equal to L is one to four point nine four two when c is equal to 20 c is equal to 20 and l is 1 to 5.134 when c is when c is 110 degrees celsius express l in terms of c express l in terms of c terms of c so here l and c are variable and it is given that when L is there are two point form systems so we can find the equation that L and C are given when L is linear expansion so of course the expansion can be in terms of L and C only so when L is 124 C is here there are two points and it is given that uh, uh, L is depend on C. So C is uh, independent variable and L is dependent variable. So C is 20, then L is 124.942, isn't it? And another point is when C is 110, then temperature length is 125.134. So using the two points of formula, find the equation of line using two point form. So therefore, equation of linear equation of linear equation linear equation of c therefore linear equation of l in terms of c terms of c is given by two point form two point form that is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 can i write like this so what is that and therefore using this we have we can write l minus what is the equation l minus x1 age the first point age length age 124 124.942 is equal to 125.134 minus 124.942 whole divided by x2 minus x1 that is 110 minus 20 and x minus x1 that x is not x but c temperature is c so c minus 20 length minus length and temperature minus temperature so we can write it like L minus 124.942 is equal to if you subtract 4 minus 2 is 2 and this is 9 this is 1 0 0.1 192 divided by 90 
and C minus 20. So that will be the answer of this equation. Or even if you want to write better form, so you can write here L is equal to 0 0.192 upon 90 into C minus 20 and plus 124.942. That will be the answer of this question. No need to simplify more than this because it is a decimal fraction, it will take too much time. Now there is a next question and that is question number 17. Question number 17 is given here and this is what the owner of a milk store finds. The owner of a milk store, milk store find that he can sell, that he can sell, sell 980 liters of milk each week liters of milk each will each week right at rate of at rate of rupees 14 per liter right and 1220 liter of milk liters of milk at each week each week at rate of rupees 16 per liter per liter right assuming a linear relationship assuming a linear relationship linear relationship relationship between selling price and demand between selling price and demand demand how many liters would he sell how many liters would he sell would he sell weekly weekly at rate of rupees 17 per liter per liter right now this is for the question how many liter he could sell at rate of rupees 17 per liter here also it is written that there is a linear relationship linear relationship means there are uh, demand depend on price so 980 and 14 this is what 14 at 980 14 at price of 14 demand is 980 at price of 16 demand is 1220 and we have to find at price of 17 what is demand at price of 17 what is demand that you have to calculate right basically so price at 16 the demand is 1220 right now so we can find the linear relationship since there are linear relationships so we can use two point form these two are satisfying so we can use two point form to find, find the equation so let p be the price p be the price and d be the demand d be the demand of milk demand of milk per liter milk per week take so using two point form what is two point form you know that y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x minus x1 is it it so we can use it here that uh, price p is the price now so price minus 14 is equal to demand 1 to 2 0 minus 980 divided by 16 minus 14 and here demand minus what price demand minus y minus y1 i can write here this side y minus y1 so demand minus this is demand minus 980 980 is demand now, and price minus 14 that will come here price minus 14 okay i hope you got it 
So this is uh, y minus y1. Y is this, D is depend on x. So y minus y1, y1 is this, this is demand minus demand. And price minus price, that simple. So you can uh, go ahead with demand minus 980 is equal to that is 20 240 divided by 2 p minus 14 so this cancel is 120 times so therefore uh, d is equal to 120 p minus 120 into 14 plus this minus 980 plus 980 right so here uh, d is equal to d is 120p minus 14 into 12 so 12 4 is 48 and 4 12 1 is 12 1 16 this is my plus 980 so 88 cancel 16 minus 9 is 7 so that is 700 so it will be 120p plus minus 700 120p minus 700 that will be the linear relationship so since d is equal to 120p minus 700 so we have to calculate the demand when price is 17 right now so when p is, p is 17 the demand will be 120 into 17 minus 700 that is 17 into 34 17 minus 17 2040 minus 700 and that is 1340 liter so the demand will be 1340 liter so when price is 13 demand will be 17 then demand will be 1340 liter so that will be the answer of this question i hope you got it right now so these are some few applications of a straight line that has been discussed here and uh, you will be able to understand it that one variable is dependent on another variable and there are uh, either one point form or two point form will be uh, applicable. So whenever there is two linear lessons if, uh, given and the two different conditions are given like here what the price and depend on demands and uh, demand depend on price. So uh, two different situations are given and you can find the relationship between them. And thereafter, if anything is asked, you can be able to answer this. Now, the next question uh, that I'm taking here, this is nothing else but question number 19. So, question number 18 is there first. 18. What is this question? Try to understand. In this question, they say if P, P A B, if P A comma B, is a middle point of line segment is a midpoint is a midpoint of line segment is a midpoint of line segment line segment between the segment between the axis edge between the axis edge axis edge so that the equation of line is so that the equation of line is the equation of line is what equation of line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 2 so how to deal with this question first of all the we have it to draw a line just to understand this you can analyze this this is the x axis this is y axis right so here is a line and the line can be line can be taken like this is a line right so we can take this line this is a line and that line is nothing else but uh, it uh, middle point of the line segment if this is a and this is b then middle point of that is this one middle point of that is a comma b if this point of intersection is say uh, capital x comma 0 say and this point of intersection is 0 comma y because y intercept this is this is origin so a and b are midpoints of these two so we can have here solution can be written as if a and b 
our midpoint of midpoint of a a x comma zero a x comma zero and b zero comma y therefore or alpha beta it will be better to write because x y is an equation as well so here you should take it as alpha and beta alpha and beta this is or p and q you can say this is p and this is q q comma zero and zero comma p so we can take it like this here a is q comma zero and b is zero comma p therefore midpoint using midpoint formula a must be equal to x coordinate is zero plus q by two and b must be uh, zero plus p by two so you can write here 2a is equal to q q is equal to 2a and p is equal to 2b now since p and q are intercept of this this is p this is q so here the equation can be written as equation of line intercept form equation of line in intercept form intercept form age what x by q plus y by p is equal to one intercept form and putting the value of p and q x by q q is what q is 2a and y by p is what 2b is equal to one this employee x by a plus y by p is equal to two and that will be the answer of this question so i hope you got it isn't it this is not big deal with uh, this it can be calculated easily so that is a question now the next question is question number 19 so question number 19 is there and what is that question try to understand question number 19 is point h comma k divides the line segment divides the line segment segment divides the line segment meant between the axis edge between the axis edge line segment between the axis edge in ratio in the ratio 1 is to 2 find the equation of line find the equation of line equation of line i hope you did so here again the similar theme is there the intercept between the axis are divided by x axis this is y axis you know and here this is origin and there is another line which will divide there is a line which will divide this in ratio at hk 1 is to 2 so say this is a point this is a point p that h comma k that divides in ratio 1 is to 2 this is a point where this is 1 and this is 2 point h is p p is here only so we can do this p is here only h comma k so 1 is to 2 this is a comma 0 intercept form this is 0 comma b y intercept so equation of line intercept form solution we can write equation of line intercept form equation of line is intercept form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 hope you got it now since hk is divides line segment a b this is a this one is b since p hk divides the line segment divides the line segment segment ab in ratio 
1 is to 2 hence coordinate of hk is given by h is given by what is x coordinate h is 1 into 0 plus 2 into a divided by 1 plus 2 that is 2a upon 3 and therefore a is equal to 3h by 2 k is equal to 1 into b plus 2 into 0 divided by 1 plus 2 using section formula mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n you know that so that will be b by 3 and therefore b is equal to 3k putting the value of a and b in first we will have so from first x by a a is 3h by 2 and y is what x is 3x h by a that is 2 and y is y upon b b is 3k is equal to 1 so that will be 2 will be numerator 2x by h plus y by k and 3 will be there so that can come here this side that will be 3 and that will be the equation of line so this is the equation of this is the equation of line equation of line we can write it right so it can be also taken as 1 is to 2 in this way and in that way if this part is 1 and this part is 2 then also there will be possibility that there will be another line there can be another line also which will divide in this ratio so here possibility is that this will be 1 and this will be 2 right now so that is also possibility that here this will be 1 and this will be 2 in this way you can calculate it also and this one is b say this is intersect point of intersection is a dash and b dash say this one is a dash and this one is b dash in that case what will happen the coordinate of a dash this will be also described as a dash comma 0 and this is 0 comma b dash isn't it so that will be finally comes here equation of line again h is equal to what will happen because this one is a and this one is b right now so we can take 1 into a dash equation of line will be equation of line is let me write first equation of line equation of line is x by a dash plus y by b dash is equal to 1 so we can write here this is the second equation and here h is equal to 1 into a plus 2 into 0 divided by 1 plus 2 therefore h is equal to a dash by 3 that is a dash is equal to 3h and similarly here uh, k is equal to 1 into 0 plus 2 into b dash divided by 1 plus 2 and this employee k is equal to 2 b dash upon 3 so therefore b dash is equal to 3 k by 2 and now from second from second equation of will be equation of line h what x by a dash a dash is 3 h and y by b dash that is 3 k by 2 so 2 will come numerator is equal to 1 that is x 2 that is x plus that is x plus we can write here x plus h plus 2y by k is equal to 3 so that will be also equation of line so there will be two equation of line so this is the equation i hope you got it there are two possibilities and therefore there is two equations uh, one equation is 2x by uh, h plus 2y by k is equal to 3 and another equation will come here x by h plus 2y by k is equal to 3 there are two possibilities and therefore there are two equations now the next question i would like to take on a uh, question number 20
and the question number 20 is here that uh, question is like by using the concept of equation of line by using the concept of concept of equation of line equation of line right by using the concept of equation of line prove that prove that the three points the three points three comma zero minus two comma minus two and eight comma two eight comma two are collinear collinear right now this one time we have to prove so it can be proved by using equations of line we know we can prove collinearity in different ways like area of triangle is zero then also they will be collinear if their slopes are equal then also they will be collinear but we can have here uh, using the equation of line so solution will be let equation of line the equation of line let line passes through passes through a 3 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 2 right two points definitely any two points can join and make a line so a line can pass through two points by joining these two so equation of line joining these two points equation of line passing through passing through 3 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 2 is given by two point form is given by y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 isn't it and uh, that will be x minus x1 isn't it so using this you have equation of line ab therefore equation of line ab line ab is y minus y1 that is 0 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x minus x1 that is 3 so what is that that is y is equal to minus 2 upon minus 5 x minus 3 so minus minus cancel and that can be written as 5y is equal to 2x minus 6 and that will be 2x minus 5y is equal to 2x minus 5y 2x minus 5y minus 6 is equal to 0 is the equation of line is the equation of line right if any other point lies on it say this is a line and in this line um, it pass through two points right now this is a line anywhere not necessary that it is a straight line it can be anything so this line is passing through a uh, minus 2 3 comma 0 and minus 2 this is a minus 2 minus 2 and this line passes through 3 comma 0 that is two points this is a this is b if third point any point lie on this line they will also satisfy the equation of line so what was the third point third point is here 8 comma 2 if any point c if any point c 8 comma 2 lies on this line lies on this line it must satisfy the equation of line it must satisfy the equation of line satisfy the equation of line equation of line is it it so therefore putting the value we have 2 into what is x 8 minus 5 into 2 minus 6 that is 16 minus 16 5 to 13 minus 16 that is 0 since it satisfy the equation of line and therefore it is also lies on the same line since 8 to satisfy satisfy the equation of line 
in offline hence it lies and c lies on a b c lies on a b and hence a b c all lies on same line lies on same line and those which lies on same line they are called collinear therefore they are a b c are collinear because they lie on the same line and therefore they are collinear so this is your all about this topic i hope you got it and you understand it well now we will discuss the next type of things that uh, reduction of equations in different form in the next class till then bye bye god bless